Yay! Happy New Year! Oh, well, it's not very happy here in New York. It's pouring down with rain. <laughs> I'm just running some errands today in the rain. You know what it's like, that weird feeling after New Year, going to the bank, buying a diary, doing the laundry after Christmas, boring, boring stuff. But despite the rain, I am feeling positive. I'm feeling good. 2017 is our year. Yeah. <laughs> um, haven't started the diet yet. My birthday's on the 7th of January, so no diet is coming my way every year until after my birthday. So all of you that have your birthdays in January, you know my pain. Everybody's on a diet. Everybody's giving up alcohol. So every year I start my New Year's resolutions and my diet on the 7th and the gym. So this week I'm making the most of it. I apologise, this vlog is full of New York food. So uh, anyway, I'm going in now. Talk to you soon. Ta! But before food, let's discuss New Year's Eve. I hope you guys all had a good one. We had a pretty chilled one actually. Afternoon drinks followed by a house party and we brought in the New Year, <laughs> dancing the night away in Central Park. Yes, there I go. But whoever knew there was a midnight marathon going on. Yes, we didn't know, but we joined in to cheer them on and what a fabulous way that was to bring in this year's New Year's Eve. What do you want on the 1st of January? Pizza! And this place, Pizza Suprema, on the corner of 31st and 8th, is rated the number one pizza joint in Manhattan by a man called Colin Hagendorf. He dedicated two and a half years of his life eating nothing but pizza every day and this place received a perfect score. This is an no-frills kind of place. The pizzas were good. Was it the best pizza that I've ever had? Probably not, but the toppings were fresh, especially the tomatoes. And for under $3 a slice, you can't go wrong. This place, on the other hand, called Adrian's in the financial district on a very pretty little street called Stone Street, is a very different pizza experience altogether. The pizzas here are deep pan, or a deep tray, I should say, full to the brim with toppings. This is what they call a pizza pie here, not for the faint-hearted. That pizza lasted for me and Hodri for lunch and dinner for about two days. But I must say, it was absolutely delicious. Moving on to one of New York's most popular fast foods, the hot dog. If you're coming over here and wanting to try one of those beauties, do not get them from a cart on the side of the road. They are soaked in some sort of chemical that's really bad for you. But this place, Gray's Papaya, soaks them, obviously, in papaya juice. This is not my kind of food, guys. I have tried them once and it was okay, but no, I just don't like fast foods and I just don't like these type of hot dogs. But I guess if you're coming over here and want to try the American experience, go for it. This is the place to get it from. the first outfit of the week in 2017 Woohoo! <laughs> my scarf is from Cos. the bag by now you should know is from Izumiyaki that oversized pale blue coat is from Reese my chain jumper and blouse are all from Cos. and uh, so actually is my cropped trousers that I'm wearing <laughs> I've teamed them all with a pair of tights and those shoes are from Zara. And there we have it, all cosy. I spy on the New York streets. Big Bird talking to himself in the park. Protesting and TV cameras outside Trump Tower. And the Beatles cover band. Yeah. 